So my name is Terry Charwa and I'm from the School of Pharmacy and my project was looking at um, the use of online debates with fourth year pharmacy students in their final year pharmacotherapy unit. So I wanted to implement some changes with regard to critical thinking. So trying to teach the students that there isn't always a black and white answer to things, that there's shades of grey and that there isn't always a right answer. Argumentation and debating is a good way to get at that critical thinking element that I was looking at. So that's where those changes came in. I chose something called Create De Debate, which is a public domain. It's a, it's a website that um, you can just, anybody can go to and they can debate a variety of different things. And then through Create Debate, um, you can also, for educational purposes, request a private um, domain. So we've requ we requested a private domain, which we paid a, a small amount of money for, and um, so it was set up just for our, our pharmacy students, and they could um, log into just our site. So nobody else could comment on our debates and that sort of thing. Debate one um, occurred in the beginning of, of the, the six weeks on campus and students uh, used their own time, like I said, to, to formulate their responses. And then they were provided with some feedback. So it's called Toolman's Argument Diagram. And they were given this diagram to say, this is the parts of the debates we're looking for. So we're looking for some data, we're looking for evidence, we're looking for backing, we're looking for qualifiers. And so they were given the, that to kind of help guide their the structure of their debate. So after debate one, they were given feedback, which basically was to try and structure their debates a bit more within this format. The second debate, they were actually marked on um, for part of their final grade, and that marking structure was based on how they structured their debate, based on that Toolman's argument diagram. It was meant to be a reflection on the, the assessment and, and did it actually help to consolidate some of their learning. And having looked at some of their um, reflections and as well as the evaluate comments, there's definitely a huge range of opinions on it. Some people thought it was great and they really liked the um, debates and it was something different and, and, and that sort of thing. Whereas on the other side of the scale, it was, oh, this was terrible and I hate working in groups and that sort of thing. Once they were provided with the feedback, it gave them a bit more... Um, of a kind of a light bulb to say, oh, hey, I, I can see where this fits in my practice. So I think that was the main issue for a lot of them is they couldn't see the practical application of this activity. They're like, I'm not going to argue with the patient when they come in to fill their prescription. How are these skills actually going to help me in, in my real practice? Because they're in their final year and that's what they're thinking about. So near the end of the unit, I think they kind of started putting that together. So for me, next year, what I really need to do is do a better sell on that in the beginning to, to bring them in earlier than to, to wait till the end. So it was definitely a learning curve for all of us. But I think near the end, once I kind of provided some more practical um, parameters for them, it, it felt a bit better. I do think it, it's a useful task um, that could be applied to a variety of different learning sets settings. So in terms of work, what worked well, I think the website worked well. I think it was easy to use. Um, it wasn't it wasn't difficult. Um, and I, I do like the, the idea of them being able to do this on their own in their own time and not, um, you know, having to come in t to discuss it. I think, I think the online learning environment just gives them the students that flexibility which they're looking for in their in their learning these days. And, and I think it, it worked quite well and it's quite functional. Thank <music> you.